Hello, in this video I will explain to you how to set up your iBus on XUbuntu for several keyboard layouts. This might also work for Ubuntu. In my case I specifically use it for Anthe for using Japanese input. Uh, first, what is the problem that I'm trying to solve here? If you have two keyboard layouts, for example German and Japanese, they differ a lot. And when you use the usual system keyboard layout settings that are integrated in Ubuntu, then you might end up in a situation where you can only use the Japanese layout or only use the German layout. So I'm going to show you how to set this up properly. First off, uh, you want to set up or set off the keyboard layout. So you open the menu and search for the keyboard settings. They look like this. And you have a layout here. In my case, you can see I have German and Japanese, but I actually don't use them. What I found for me is important that you have to uncheck this box here. That's the setting you have to do. And then you close it. What you now want to do is you want to open the iBus settings. So you open the menu again and type iBus. Uh, on current usual Ubuntu systems, you might not find these preferences here, but maybe you have your iBus installed and you have this icon over here. Then you can also open it with preferences. Both will open the same window and then you open advanced and now very important this must be unchecked you don't want to use the system keyboard layout if you hit this one then it will just use the settings that I just showed you but that way you would have to change the input method and the keyboard layout with two different settings and you only mess things up then and it's kind of buggy anyway so just don't check this one and in my case I use German and Japanese so because this is unchecked iBus uses its own settings so it uses automatically the German layout for the German input and the Japanese layout for the Japanese input and well that's basically it thanks for watching